it's time for another episode of Old Roommates. This week on the show, we are revisiting Who Framed Roger Rabbit from 1988. So grab some chips and dip. No, dip. not dip. Oops. Not dip. <laughs> not the dip. Grab some chips <laughs> and join us, won't you, for another episode of Old Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome to Old Roommates, the only podcast that revisits pop culture through a middle-aged lens. This is Brian. And this is Christina. And today we are talking about Who Framed Roger Rabbit, mm -hmm. released June 22nd, 1988, which, if my math is correct, uh -oh. is 35 years ago. Sure. Right? Yeah. Yes, that makes sense. Okay. Um, we begin, as we always do, by talking about then. Christina, what was your relationship with this movie, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I loved this movie. I remember all the hype about mm -hmm. this movie. I saw it in the movie theater. And Fancy. I was amazed. I thought this was such a fun, amazing, well done, funny movie it surprised me mm -hmm. it i did not find it predictable at all like at, at every turn it was like something new mm -hmm. and it held my interest and i was always so amazed at how they incorporated the cartoon world with the real world yeah i loved it i absolutely loved this movie however i don't think i saw it after <laughs> is that weird yeah i think so too how yeah. about you, Brian? Well, so I did see it in the movie theater. I really agree with everything you, you're saying. It's one of those things where you're sitting in the movie theater in 1988, and even that opening sequence, that cartoon with mm -hmm. him and um, baby Herman, yes. right? Um, that was just like, like it was such, it was so amazingly done with like the reflection of the kitchen floor oh. and all that, you know, everything, this kind of almost 3D element to it. And just like everything was so cool and... And it was every minute felt cool. It's like yes. you're really watching something gra pretty groundbreaking mm -hmm. in terms of cinema. And um, and I yeah, I loved every stinking minute of it. And then when it came out on um, VHS, uh, it was sort of a staple at the video store. So I feel like I always had it on. I uh, um, same same. Yeah, because it was safe and everyone loved it. And but it was a hugely popular rental. I remember that working at the video store as well. And uh, but. Yeah, I just, I mean, I loved Roger Rabbit. I loved Jessica Rabbit. I loved, yeah, it just, it was such a fun, exciting, both exciting on paper and exciting visually. Yes. You know, it's, a, it's a plot that really uh, was interesting. Like, it yes, it your, wasn't it, just attention. about, right. it wasn't just about the, you know, crazy new way they're doing it. Yeah. But the, the storyline was there. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely. Do you remember everyone... Finding out that Jessica Rabbit was Kathleen Turner. Yeah, because she wasn't credited. She mm -hmm. did this as a favor for uh, Robert Zemeckis. They had made um, *Romancing the Stone*. Mm -hmm. Kathleen Turner at the time, I believe, was pregnant, and she um, was like, "Oh, I'll just you know, she'll just do it." And it's kind of like easy, easy yeah. work. Um, but later, when because they made more Roger Rabbit. Uh, cartoon shorts, mm -hmm. animated shorts. She did get credit for those. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was that was pretty cool. I the singing that being voice. A thing. The singing voice though is Amy, Amy Irving. Irving. Yeah. Yes. Uh, which was, I believe, it was a favorite. Weird. Like, this well, is Steven weird Spielberg thing. is Spielberg involved in this at all? Well, Zemeckis is. I don't know. It well, seems like a Spielberg. Yeah. I'm trying to remember why Amy Irving was the singing voice. You know what I kept thinking? Uh, I'm jumping into now. But I was trying to think, like, could they have gotten an actress that sang and, and acted and, and done that sort of thing? Yes. And I, my first thought was Bette Midler. I feel like Bette Midler would have been a really funny oh, Jessica Rabbit. Oh, she would have been good. It would have been a, a, definitely a different take. Well, what about Cher? Oh, my God. Cher would have made I mean, a great I'm, Jessica Rabbit. I'm stunned. I didn't think of that. Me too. Yeah. In Who 88, are you? 88. Who are you? And what did you do with my friend? In 88 was like, who's bigger than Cher in 88? Right. That would have been interesting. I mean, Probably Kathleen. Kathleen Turner is so good as, Je as Jessica Rabbit. It's almost too on the nose, right? Because yeah. yep. she's so, at that point, Kathleen Turner, she is so, like, 
sexy, and she's like the big box office draw. I mean, she would, you know, Romance in the Stone and Jewel Denial, Peggy Sue got married, and she had body heat. And, so she was like that quintessential femme fatale. It was almost yes. too perfect, the casting. Uh, but let's dive in, but she did an amazing job. Let's dive into now. Okay. If you're um, ready. Hold on. I'm looking up <laughs> Steven Spielberg. Okay. So it says, Price and Seaman wrote two drafts of the script before Disney brought it, brought in executive producer Steven Spielberg. Yeah. And yeah. Amy Irving, yeah. I believe, was involved with Spielberg at yeah, that time. He was, he so was I feel like, because she's not credited either, is my point. So right. I wonder if this was just a favor to him. Because you don't see Amy Irving singing very much. No. Yeah. And not at all. Yeah. I mean, she was in Yentl. She didn't sing in Yentl, did she? I don't know. I didn't see Yentl. I don't, I don't think she's saying in Yentl. I'm not really sure. Anyway. So, so diving into now. Diving into now, I was a little bit nervous to watch this movie because, because. I was afraid <laughs> it wasn't going to live up to the hype. I, Te I, techni technically speaking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, of course. Yeah. I just, I was afraid it was going to look cheesy okay. and, and all that. So I was a little bit nervous to watch it. Um, so I, but I watched it the other day and I, I was not disappointed. Good. It was actually, I was so impressed that it really stood up visually. Yeah. Were you feeling the same way when you were watching this? I will say not with the, in, the introductory cartoon, the cartoon short in the very beginning, uh, to be honest, that didn't hold up for me, which makes perfect sense. Right. But, um, but yes, all the special effects, all the stuff. Oh There's my God. one scene where I'm like, eh, they could have done that a lot better. Which scene? Um, when he gets thrown out of the bar? Oh, oh, so it's right, I think it's right before he does the, he's like, give him a shot, give him a shot. No, I don't want to do the shot. You do oh, the shot. Oh, he throws he it. He throws it and it kind of goes go, right it's, through yes, it. Yes, it's, yes, it's yes, yes, yes. It's a little bit of an eyesore. Like that, I'm a little surprised they didn't. Couldn't do a that job. was a bit. Yes, I noticed that too. That's so yeah. funny. The only other time was when the ape threw uh, Bob Hodgkin. Oh yeah, out. yeah, like that looked a little <laughs> weird. But those are the only two yeah. times, and the rest of it because I was looking too. When yeah, looking like even like Jessica Rabbit singing. With that scene is amazing. That when is she, unbelievable. When she takes the handkerchief yep. out of his pocket mm -hmm. and rubs it on his head. Yep, and. It's seamless. Yes. It is amazing. And there's so many moments like that. That's so it, re it really holds many. up. It's amazing. And it's 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 throughout the whole movie. Yeah. And I think I was looking a lot, but then I stopped looking because it was everything looked so great. Yeah. It was really even when they're in the the you know, like that secret room and Roger is kind yeah. of running around <laughs> and he's hitting things yeah. and the lights swaying. Yes. And, yeah. I mean, it's just so you forget yeah. that it's a cartoon. Yeah. You don't see any of that green screen kind of thing. Right. One, the one time I did sort of see green screenish kind mm -hmm. of thing is when it's when he first shows up to Toontown. Yeah. And he's kind of like sitting, standing in the middle of it. It did look a little bit off, but I forgive them for that. But because the rest of it was. Really, really well done. So well done. It really holds up. I mean, that's that, um, that, yeah, I guess I had that little bit of a fear, like, because, you know, I don't think people, I mean, no, too many people, this movie does not come up in conversation, no. even though it was a huge blockbuster. It made $350 million. I mean, it was one Oscars. It's like, but I don't see, I don't hear people talking about this movie or much at all. No. And it's like, and it does, to answer that question, it does hold up really, really, really well. Um, I laughed in the beginning, as much as I wasn't a fan of, like, I don't think that held up well, the first cartoon. Like, there's just a lot of little tiny things that you notice, like, a box in the kitchen of that Baby Herman sequence mm -hmm. says, Deadly Mouse Poison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I, yes. I, I love those little things that are pointed yeah. at you just everywhere throughout. Yeah. I'm sure we didn't even notice all of them. I've been honest. I don't have very many notes. I don't really. I have was a lot enjoying either. it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much yeah. too. One of the first things I wrote though was I forgot about how funny the dialogue was in a lot of ways. Yeah. And how it makes fun of itself. Yeah. I forgot about. Well, I guess I didn't really forget about, but I definitely appreciated more that whole '40s vibe. Mm -hmm. I think that really went well with everything that was going on. Um, 
including his personality. He was so good in this. They were all so good in this, I thought. But one of the first lines I wrote down was, what do you know about show business? There's no business like it. No business I know. <laughs> like, just silly, silly yeah. things like that. Yeah. And they play it so straight. Yeah. I love it. When love she it. says, um, <clears throat> uh, is it Dolores? Uh, I think so, Joanna yes. Cassidy, who's great in this. Uh, she says, um, a tune killed his brother. <laughs> Dropped it. Oh, my God. I, you I sound really... like Judge Doom right <laughs> now. Like, a tune, a tune killed his brother. Dropped a piano on his head. Right. And like you're trying, like, and it's, it's trying just, to be you're like laughing. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. It's just really, really Oh, and how about the guy goes, and that's very, that's very sitcom when he says, um, uh, God, dropping a safe on his head. Um, what did he say? And it's something like, it's like, you know, it's something, something about a tune, like being very just, dis- and he goes, yes, yes. And turns to, <laughs> to Bob Hoskins goes, Sorry, Eddie. Because like yeah. everyone knows how his brother right, dies. Right, right, right. It's pretty, pretty funny. Yeah, it is. It's very funny. I loved, I could totally relate to how annoyed he is Eddie, right? Mm-hmm. Eddie is with all the cartoons around him. Like, he's yeah. just trying to live his life. Yeah. And the cartoons are just, they're just full of life. They're funny. Oh they're just always cracking jokes. Yeah. And he's just like... Get the hell away from me. Yeah. And uh, that made me laugh. Just his attitude towards them, like, oh. So that does bring up something. I don't have very many negatives. Okay. But through my middle age line, something that did not age well is like, I did find Roger so annoying. Put, so annoying. Yes. Like, really annoying. And I loved him before. Me too. And I found him very annoying until the plot kicks into high gear. Yes. Then it's like, then he's much more interesting and he's, you know, a little more focused. But I mean, that, I think my least favorite sequence now was um, when he's hi- when they're handcuffed together and he's hiding him from the weasels. Mm-hmm. Um, I just felt like it went on too long. It was too too unbelievable. Like mm-hmm. the weasels are so everywhere that they would be catching him doing these things. And Roger's too stupid to like be that sloppy, you right. know. And it's and because you know he's not going to hurt himself. He's not going to drown. The right. only way to kill a tune is with is with dip. So he's not going to drown. So what is the big struggle there? Like right, just right. he's trying to sit, help you. So I was pretty annoyed by that, and I because I think it's because. The story is so strong. You want it to gain traction. Mm -hmm. I felt like these things sort of held it in place, which I didn't think was necessary. But again, I'm not a kid anymore. No, I get that. 100%. I get that. Um, I I think that's how I related more to Eddie. Yeah. (laughs) Because I did feel like Roger was so annoying. Mm Mm-hmm. I think they did that on purpose. To push Eddie to the limit. Yeah. Yeah, just because he's so gruff. Yeah. And Roger is just so over the top. Yep. But yeah, totally annoying. I didn't get that annoyance when I was younger. (laughs) I Um, did laugh out loud quite a bit at Patty Cake. Oh, my God. God. Oh, Marvin. Oh, Mar. Patty Cake? Patty Cake. (laughs) And you hear like the... Like, oh God. And then it cuts to Roger looking through the photos. And he's like... it's showing it. Yeah, it's like stop motion. Like, it is so... So, so funny. funny. So funny. Um, I loved seeing all of the old favorites, all the old cartoons, yep. the Daffy, Donald. Everybody shows up in this thing. Yeah. Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny, Yosemite Sam, like all of these. Tweety. Like everybody shows up in this thing. Even Betty Boop. <laughs> that was cute. I yeah. forgot about Betty Boop in yeah. this. And yeah, that was a cute I felt a little sad scene. for her because she used to be like this sex pot. And then Jessica, Jessica Rabbit, Rabbit comes out up, and like, yeah. ooh, you look like a little boy. <laughs> I laughed out loud, and this is an all-human moment, when they're looking, Roger's looking through the peephole yes. at the bar, and his eyes knock over a drink, and Eddie runs over, and Dolores does too, and they all fall down. Yes. Oh, my God. Even that <laughs> felt a little Three stooges to me. Yes. Like it's, But that's of the time. Like, it yes. felt so 40s, like, like slapsticky. The way, even the way Dolores... Falls and that se- shot is so it's so so good. campy, funny. It's so good. I know and that's why I really think that's why the '40s vibe really worked well. Like I'm mm-hmm. trying to picture it in like more of a modern day yeah. atmosphere, and I I Probably don't think it would have worked work, as well. Yeah. I really don't think it would have worked. 
How about when they're in the Acme like warehouse after Marvin Acme dies, mm -hmm. and they're they're looking in all the boxes of all yeah. the toys? How fun would that be? Like that's all I kept thinking about. I was like, oh my gosh, I would love to be in that warehouse right now and open up all these like different toys. I know, but it, that when he kills the shoe. Oh my oh god, when he kills the shoe, that's the horrible. Poor shoe. And it's like, how is that allowed? How is that legal? What did the shoe do? Nothing. I know. And the shoe, this is some trivia. I, f I found this in my research. Nancy Cartwright, who plays Bart Simpson. Oh my gosh, yeah, how funny. Yeah, it was like her first, her first bit. She didn't get Bart Simpson until the following year. Wow. But that shoe, when he puts that shoe in that dip, I felt that in my soul. And I well, hated it then. Well, that's when you hate you. Oh, yeah, boy. I hated it then. I hate that it now. That just was like, you are an asshole. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Boy. Um, I loved the whole Jessica Rabbit twist about how you think that she's yes. to blame. And then you Running find out the that street. she's not. Yeah. The gun <laughs> yeah. and all this. I mean, all of that, again, Took me by surprise. I mean, not this way, not not now right, right, because right, yeah. I remember it. But it took me by surprise. Very well done. Mm -hmm. You really do think it was him because you you don't understand like why they're together. <laughs> you know, like you you're invested in this relationship somehow mm -hmm. in their cartoons. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah, and I, I just love that whole twist. Yeah. Well, yeah. when she it's cool when she's like. And she pulls her gun out, and she's like, behind you! And it's this big, dramatic, like, long yes. shot moment. It's really, really, really cool. It never... Like it a, does a really good job of, like, balancing the film noir and these ridiculous cartoon yes. sequences. It does a really good job of it. It's a great... They do a great job of um, it. Christopher Lloyd is incredible. When you think... Of Christopher Lloyd, so 85 is Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. When was Clue? 85... Was that also 85 or 84? 80? I'm say 84. Oh shit! I hate when, see, I hate when you do this to me, and I'm doing it. I too. know, right? <laughs> but I mean, he's talk about three incredibly different characters. Like you have Judge Doom, Professor Plum, and uh, um, the science what, Doc. 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 And how? Eighty five. Clue eighty five. How good is he in this? He's so He is so good. good. He's so evil. Yeah. He's all in on yeah. this crazy. And he doesn't he doesn't blink. He does not blink yeah. in the whole thing. He has glasses on the whole time. Mm -hmm. He it I remember feeling like he was weird looking. Mm -hmm. Now it feels more makeup y. Yeah. But I never would have thought he was a toon. Mm -hmm. I never, that was completely, completely surprising. Yes, totally. I, you know, you, you're kind of waiting for that open-ended maniacal laugh to come from somewhere mm -hmm. because that's the, whoever is laughing that way is the person that killed Eddie's brother. Right. And the fact that it all ties together is, oh. um, it's funny because I think in a lesser movie it would be like, oh, of course it's the same person. You know, right. it's like, it's very Batman and the Joker, but it really, yeah, it works. This like It self, somehow surprised yeah, me. It's like a self-hating tune. Well, and I think because <laughs> throughout the whole thing, he says, a tune killed my brother. Yeah. And I never, I, I'm telling you, I yeah. never suspected that he was a tune probably because he is such an animated person to begin with the actor himself yes. christopher lloyd is yeah. he is like an animated his face is weird mm -hmm. you know, like he just has that animated part to him so yeah i loved it i thought it was so fun so mm -hmm. surprising and, as, and when he gets yeah, I mean, and I'm jumping to the end, I'm yeah. sorry, but he's getting rolled over by the steamroller, oh and you're like, oh my god, this is horrible, Yeah, horrible, and then all of a sudden his feet go, <laughs> and I'm like, holy crap, like, totally surprised. Yeah, and the eyeballs pop out. And the eyeballs, and, yeah. yep. Yeah. So good. And then when his, like, even everything, his arm turns into a buzzsaw, and like, all oh, these, like, insane, all of these... and the wind, oh it's so... So good. It's like, so good. I've mean, said this a few times now, but like the actors are so game. Like the human actors are mm -hmm. all so game. Um, and just, you know, interacting with these animated characters so perfectly. And Christopher Lloyd is just so good. Um, I really don't have any. I mean, only the notes are just trivia. But um, I 
Would you have any other notes about the movie? I don't really have a lot I was, of I was engrossed. I was 1,000% engrossed, too. I was so excited to be there. And, I again, I really loved seeing all of the old characters. Yeah. They all made their little... Uh, there's so much. It's, well, this movie is... Layers upon layers upon yeah. layers upon layers. It's the dialogue. It's the the uh, the visual. It's the characters. It's uh, there's so much to this, and I do not want to miss a thing. Yeah. And you know what's really funny about this? So I've had this movie for a while, and I've been waiting for somebody to watch it with me. I thought yeah. Renee. I thought I thought my, um, Emily, my daughter, yeah. and my husband Matt would both love this movie, and. We kept trying to make, you know, it was yeah. around the holidays times, yep. too. And, yep. you know, there's just so much going on. And I remember, like, trying to make times to watch it. Didn't get a chance. To, and then finally, I'm like, you know what? Forget I have to watch this movie. Yeah. So I put it in a couple days ago. And <laughs> what was so funny is as I'm watching it, as people are walking through the room, they would stop and just be completely <laughs> engrossed. And then even at one point, Matt, he he's like watching it and he's watching it. Like he's just standing behind me watching yeah. this. And he had to take Paisley for a walk. And he's like, all right, all right, I got I to gotta take her for a walk. I'm like, I'll just pause it for you. He's like, that's okay, that's okay. I'm like, honey, you are really engrossed in this. I'm like, I can pause it. He's like, it's okay, it's okay. You can just do it. So I'm like, okay, fine. So I keep going. And then when he came back in, it was the same idea. Like he just stops and he's standing in like our front Has room. he never seen it before? I don't think he ever oh saw it. Oh, my right. God. It, I, it was so funny. And then I look, I turn behind me, and he's in the front room, like, Stan is watching the movie. Yeah. I'm like, honey, we can watch this together. Yeah. yeah. But I think it's surprising to everybody. Like, they just, people think it's just like a silly cartoon. Right. But it's really a lot more to that. Yeah. It's really atmospheric, really well done. Do you have Disney Plus? I do. So it's on Disney Plus. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, okay. I got it from the library, and then I realized it was on Disney Plus anyway. But mm -hmm. um, it's so worth revisiting. Well, you know what else I loved about this was the car chase. So it reminded me of, what's the crazy, what was it, Freaky Friday? What, was it Freaky, was it, was it Freaky Friday that we watched? Well, Freaky Friday has a... The original Freaky, Freaky Friday, and they had the crazy car chase. Yes. And... This one has a crazy car chase, and I loved this car chase. And it was a car chase between normal cars yeah. with human beings, and then there's a fake fake cars with yeah. the um yes yeah the weasels yeah, and then Bob or Eddie yeah he's a human in a cartoon car with Jessica. With Jessica. It, <laughs> It was, and it was so fun. Well, and I love when he runs it over the dip puddle or the puddle of dip, mm -hmm. and they both go flying oh out of the car. Oh my gosh! Yes, it's so, it's so, it's so well done. It's so good. And even, and then the car can't even no. move anymore because right. half of his. I was glad he didn't die. Oh my god! Yeah. I know. Um, so the big question: more, less, or about the same? I feel like I liked it more. Okay. I think I had a bigger appreciation. Maybe it's because my expectations were low because I, I didn't know how well it would stand up. Yeah. But I, and this is very rare because, you know, I don't know. I really liked it back then. I don't yeah. know. Now it's, it's hard to say. For but, me, for me, it's the same. I loved it. I watched it so many times, like, you know, back in the late 80s. And, um, but, and I really loved it now for different reasons, but mm -hmm. I think it kind of evens out, but it's a great uh, great movie. Uh, I do have some trivia before we get to match game okay. or, you know, things. It is the longest closing credits in history. No way. Over 10 minutes long, 800 people. Wow. Yeah. Um, original casting for Eddie. Mm -hmm. I am so glad they went with Bob Hoskins. He's perfect in this movie. Harrison Ford. Oh, yeah. I, no. I don't know if I could picture that. No. He was too expensive. And then Chevy Chase, but he was oh, not no, interested. He would have been too much. Yeah. He, he would have not been able to play it straight enough. That's right. Yeah. And um, Harrison Ford, I can just see him having all these like goofy, like, like kind of smiles. Uh, well, I kept, then I was thinking like, I mean, I guess Steve Martin would fall into that similar thing with Chevy Chase. It's like maybe just too funny. It yeah. helps that I don't think little kids 
or most American audiences would really know who Bob Hoskins is. He's more no. of a British actor. Like, he was in Mermaids, of course, and other things. But, like, I think at that point, there's kind of something nice not knowing yes. him well. Like, yes. a movie star, you know? Agreed. Um, original casting for Judge Doom. This makes a lot of sense, um, but he was deemed too scary. Uh, Tim Curry. Oh. Too yeah, scary. Yeah. And then John Cleese, not scary enough. Oh, no, 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 yeah. yeah, no, he would not have done, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, my God, can you imagine Tim Curry? I know. He would be really something. Um, and then I have a match game. Yeah, okay. This is, like, the quickest episode ever, I think. Well, I, I honestly looked down at my notes, and I'm like, oh, my God, I haven't taken a note since, um, I'll tell you when I stopped, and then I went back and I remembered, I, I, stopped, I wrote Patty, <laughs> I seriously wrote Patty Cake, LOL. And then this time I looked at my notes, the movie was over, and I'm like, patty cake, LOL. And I'm like, oh, my God. All and I forgot. Happened. And yeah. that's, a, that's a big compliment. It's a huge compliment. Yeah, it's so I went back and it. And I did the very similar. Yeah. I had to, like, kind of write a few things in. Yeah. I, I did the same exact it's thing. So I was, funny. I didn't want to miss a second. Yeah. And the I will I will just reiterate that the, the lines, I wish I'd written down more of them. The dialogue in this movie is hilarious yeah. at times. It's really, really fun. And it makes fun of itself, and it's just, it's just really, they did a really, really fabulous job mm -hmm. with this movie. Are you uh, ready for it? Oh. oh, yes, you have a MASH game, and I have yeah. an FMK. Okay. Do you want to do yours first? Or um, do you want to do MASH game first? Oh, let me just say one more thing yeah. about the ending, though. Yeah. Because, remember, at the ending, I loved how that worked out, too, where he had the will on him the whole time. Yes, and disappearing ink. And it was disappearing Re reappearing. and reappearing yeah. ink. I thought that was really, really fun. Yeah. And then, um, the other thing, I forget. Anyway, it was just good. It was good. <laughs> it was just good. Really, really good. Do you want me to do the FMK first? Uh, sure. All right, because it's quick. It's going to be quicker. All right, here's my FMK for you. Mm -hmm. Roger Rabbit. <laughs> okay. Judge Doom. Oh, wow. And Marvin Acme. Of course. I don't think it's that difficult. Oh, yeah, totally. Yep, I have it. Ding. All right, I think I'm going to... Wait, hold on a second. I think... All right. Ding. Um, killing Judge Doom. It's always the easiest one. Okay. I'm marrying Marvin. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to F Roger Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's illegal in some suits. No, I had the Roger and Judge mixed up for you. You think I would kill Roger Rabbit? Yeah, I think you <gasps> thought he was way too annoying. He was pretty annoying. Yeah. But, but only, you know, but just Seriously, have sex Seriously, can you him. imagine having sex with him, though? It'd be fast. He'd be like, <laughs> 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 Lovely. He would have been way too annoying. You would, yeah, that would, that would be difficult. Well, it would, I mean, I'm thinking he's a rabbit. It would be over quickly. Oh, um, my God, you're right. <laughs> yeah. So, here but we go. But you might get pregnant. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, Christina, mm -hmm. when the heat of this case, okay, of who framed Roger Rabbit, one of the primary suspects of Marvin Acme's killer was actually Sleepy from the Seven oh Dwarfs. Oh, my. I know. Well, apparently the authorities found blank all over the crime scene. <laughs> All right, Sleepy was one of the suspects. The authorities found blank all over the crime scene. Pixie dust? Oh, that's cute. Right, isn't that the kind of thing that you put over your eyes to sleep? Um, well, Pixie dust is what Tinkerbell throws on you to fly. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, see, it's I knew right, it was the wrong right. word, but you know what I'm talking about. I just put drool. Oh, <laughs> you know what? That's really funny. That is really funny, because I was thinking I'm, like, sleeping. I was thinking of, like, boogers. Yeah, I was like, thinking, like, stuff like, like that. Or, or, like, feathers. Drools or are really good Pillow ones. feathers or, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good yeah. one. I like that. Good job. Uh, Good job. Yeah. And that was Roger Rabbit. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Whoops. I was just going to curl. I was <laughs> just going calls to it Roger Rabbit connect. Though. I was going to correct you. <laughs> Who framed Roger Rabbit? And that's it for us and for this episode of Older Mates. 
thank you for listening. Please remember to follow us on Instagram or YouTube where we have our episodes as well as a little extra. And if you have any questions about our show, any suggestions for movies we could revisit, reach out to us at oldroommatespod at gmail.com. Thanks again for listening. This is Brian. And this is Christina. Until next time.